today's fierce rivalry game will take home the Paul Bunyan Governor of Michigan Trophy. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Michigan is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 22. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled around the 31-yard line. That brings up second and one. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. Ready! Green and <laughs> Tackle made at the 32. Call it a gain of one yard. That'll make it third and one. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Crawford is the putter. Tackle at the 37. Collins coming out for the first time. Home field. He loves the spotlight, and this crowd is amped right now, Kurt. Brad, we've seen over the years guys who have a chance to play at home, how they seem to play better. But this crowd's been anticipating this the entire week, and now it's right here before them. I tell you, I think he's having an effect not only on his own offense, but his own defense, and even this crowd. You talk about a difference maker. That's what this young man really is. About nine yards there on the quarterback scramble. On the ground, left side. And they make the stop at the 47. That's a gain of one. Man left, man left. Third down. Two down, two down. Hey, check by 25. Check by 25. He laterals. Tackle around the 48-yard line. Nice first down there on the option. Yeah, the quarterback does a nice job here of pitching it out to the tailback. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down around the 49-yard line. Makes the tackle at the 49-yard line. That makes it third and seven. Zips it to the back, and he's tackled the 42-yard line. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. He's taken down at the 41. It's almost an impossible task for a defense to stop a first down from resulting when the big fullback gets his hands on it in short yardage. He's such a powerful guy, and he knows where he's going. And down he goes at the 41-yard line. Fires it again to his tight end. This one out to the right. Finds his receiver who's all alone. Touchdown, Wolverines. Great 
effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary. But the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 64-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. They score now, 7-0. He's tackled at the 20. Michigan's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. That makes it second and 10. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20 yard line. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Bell is back to receive. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Michigan up seven points. Tipped away. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. He zips it. Got it. The 10. Touchdown. Big play. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Brad, the quarterback and this wide receiver clearly have outstanding chemistry. Wide receiver is so open because it was a perfect route, and the quarterback was able to time it up just perfectly. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Moody has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Wolverines really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. Goes right, picked off, down the sideline. Brad, it's still early in this game, and they might be able to get back into it. I just feel like the quarterback seems to be forcing things a bit. I understand trying to get back and fighting to get back in the game, but that time to throw an interception when you really need points, that was a big mistake. From the 15-yard line, first down. Down around the 13 yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. 
That's good for a gain of 10 yards. Man, left, man, that left. first and goal. Three down, three down. Here we go. Check. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. From the four yard line, second down. Here's a pitch left side. And he's level at the six yard line. He's hit and taken down. About a five-yard pickup on the old play-action pass. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal-line defense. Run play, and he'll lose yards. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. You really can't say enough about this defense. Fourth and short, and they really showed up on that play. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into this. That brings up second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on their own seven. A little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Ball start, offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. He gets out to about the six-yard line. Collins gets three yards on the play. That'll make it third and five. They line up at the six. It's third down. Let's go! Three ninety-five. Three ninety-five. Zipped it out. That was almost picked off. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined and were able to break up the pass. Crawford to punt. the 42 and he's tackled at the 36 the Wolverines really could have uh, overlooked this team today I think very easily but they haven't done that so far no you can't take anybody too lightly and they've obviously not done that they come out of the gate today and really putting a lot of points up on the board they are ready to begin another drive gains his way to the 26 yard line that's a gain of 10 on the play Makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Hey, check my 45. Check my 45. Throws complete and he's hit right away. That'll make it second and seven. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The offense needs something new down here in the red zone. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. And now he pitches it, and he tackles him hard at the 17-yard line. From the 17 yard line. Third down. Throws. 
It's picked off. Broke away from one. So that's exactly what they needed, Brad. Somehow to get the football back to their own offense. They need points on the board, and they need them in a hurry. And that turnover could help them out. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20. Going right to his tailback. He's tackled at the 29. That brings up second and one. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they push him out at the 48. A part of any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake. He does a really good job here on the fake, and then they pick up some nice yards. First and 10. Ball on their own 48. Get on the ball, here we go. So at the end of one quarter, the Wolverines lead 14-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Throws it in a hurry. To the 20. Tackle made around the 11-yard line. You know, the play-action pass that time delivers a huge play. I think the defense was out of position. There was a one-on-one -on -one opportunity on the outside, and they took advantage of it. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Ready! Gray 95! Gray 95! Halfback's got it on the quick throw. That's a great tackle at the nine-yard line. That's good for a gain. third and 12. We've got third and 12. Hey, Ball on the 13. Five, Set. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Finds the tight end for a touchdown. tight end. This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruler on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Runs outside for a nice game. Michigan is up seven. And they make the stop right around the 34. Jumps 
just throws this one away. Hart is the punter. Reed fields it at the 24, brought down at the 36-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Slings it, and he's hit immediately. I'm a huge fan of the play-action pass in college football because the play-action, it really puts a lot of pressure on a defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game, and it puts them out of position, and it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. Makes it to the 34. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Here we go! He might not be able to get the pass off. He's hit and got away. And he might want it all here and does! The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Oh, I bet the defender wishes he had that one back. Yeah, anytime you have a chance to end the drive, especially in your own end zone, you just got to make that play. Gets the ball here and brought down to the backfield. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting them in the backfield. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Throw in left. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. When they broke the huddle, I'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver. And he still brought it in to give this team a big lift. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 16. Hey, watch that, watch that. Check White. Ready. White. White. Eight. Run, 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 run. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it third and three. This is the eighth play of this drive. Lombardi on play action. Quick strike and he drops it. So it's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. He gets it up and the field goal is good. his own goal line and down he goes at the 26 Colin Starr let's face it we knew that coming in we've seen him play before he does some sensational things on the football field and he hasn't disappointed here in the first two quarters no not at all I mean if anything he's kind of raised the bar from what we've uh, really expected to see from him today uh, he's playing well this offense seems to be clicking right now and you know I just think that when they're in sync they're tough for any defense to be able to slow down and still a long way to go in this game and we'll see if this defense can make some adjustments to be able to slow down this this star player out at wide receiver and also this offense. Michigan is up four. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Number 18. That'll bring up second and three. And he hits him hard at the 46. Gain of four yards. First and ten. Two down, two down. Hey, check my 45. Check my 45. Ready. Green on fire. Fire 
quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Second and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Taken down around the 38 yard line. Nice run there. That's a game six on the play. First down. Throws it to the hat back on the screen. They'll bring him down at about the 29-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game foul on the He's got an opening. And he's tackled right around the 14-yard line. They're back in the red zone where the points have really been scarce lately. Nice run there as they work the outside. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Michigan is up by four. Here we go. Red 18. Red 18. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. Receiver for the touchdown. He gives them another score, his second in the passing game. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. And he converts the extra point. As his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. It'll be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Makes it to the 37. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Let's go! The line 80! The line fly! Go, motion, motion, motion. Yeah. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He guns it to the left. Incomplete. Meek was the intended receiver on the play. That makes From their own 44-yard line. Second down. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's got it with room to run. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. And they'll run him again. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. From the 37-yard line, it's first down. Out of bounds around the 30-yard line.
They'll spread the field with five wide. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And down he goes at the six-yard line. Michigan State will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. First and goal, and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again. Tackle at the nine. The defense needs to be careful. Safety might have made that play, but if he keeps coming up on the run, there'll be space downfield for the pass. He gets sacked on the play. Loss of six on the play. To the end zone, and it's intercepted. And who else? It's the senior safety. From their own 20 yard line, first down. Quick pass, brought down right around the 30. The Wolverines will use their first time out of the half. That'll make it second and inches. Hey, check by 25, check by 25. Ready! He scrambles, and he's gonna be sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Third down and six yards to go. Ball on the 24. He wants it all going long. Incomplete. Almost picked off. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. The Wolverines in front by 11. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Neither ground game very productive in that first half, David, and I really think it came down to each player on the defensive side executing their assignments and trying to get the positive self-determination they wanted from the defense. No doubt about it. And you look at the defense is doing such a great job stopping the run. That's the first thing that you do 99% of the time in meetings is what are we going to do first? Stop the run. Because that's usually the place where you can get gashed the most. It's the simplest. Quarterbacks don't have to go back and make reads. It's designed. You know what they're going to do. But it also comes down to the big boys up front and those big boys making holes. And right now, I don't see many holes. And I don't care if you have Barry Sanders. I don't care if you have the best running back of all time, whoever it is in your backfield. If there's not a hole, there's no yards to be made. There's nothing they can do. So the defensive line doing a great job stuffing the run. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He'll take it from the two. Tackle made at the 21-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. Man, left, man, left. First down. Go down, go down. Hey, check by 45. Check by 45. Check, 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 check. Gets it. He's in space. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. Right, right, right. Go down, go down. That makes it first and 10. Watch 82. Ball coming to 82. 45 is the mark. 
Quick toss. Picked off. It's the cornerback. Okay, this could potentially turn this football game around. They're down by a couple scores, but if you're the offense and you're on the sideline and you're not feeling good about yourself and your defense comes up with an interception like that, boy, oh boy, you're grabbing your helmet and sprinting on that field. You're ready to go. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. That's a great tackle at the 33. That makes it second and six. Gets it out quickly. Tackle made right around the 46-yard line. From their own 46-yard line. First down. He's on the run. Slides down. That scramble gets them seven yards. They make the stop around the 46-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Zips it left. Got it. He's all the way. Touchdown. That was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. He makes the PAT. Hunt gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 23. Michigan State's not going to back down from anybody, Herbie, I guess, at least not today. No, not today. They played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Screen pass. He's got his half back. Good open field tackle. With the reception. Then two yards. That brings up second and nine. Michigan holds a four-point lead. Scrambling around. They bring him down. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. We'll be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. So that sack leaves them with some work to do. It's third down and 14. He's hit and taken down. Quick throw to the tight end, and he's tackled right away. That'll make it second and four. Throws it in a hurry. Knocked out of bounds around the 43-yard line. Johnson comes away with around seven yards on that catch, and that'll also give him a first down. And they're moving the ball well because this quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. Check 99. Check 99. Just throws this one away. Right, right, right. 
Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Ball start. Offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 33. Michigan is up four. Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. He's taken down right around the 24-yard line. Person brings him down at the 24-yard line. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. He makes it four scoring passes. All the hard work he puts in is finally paying off. It's been rewarded here today with some pretty good throws, leading to some remarkable touchdowns. And he adds the extra point. And everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Collins' performance today has been sensational. Yeah, Brad, one thing about this guy is just his knowledge of the scheme and what they're trying to do. And I think that's really what separates him and allows him to be such a dominating player. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Up the middle for a nice game. Collins gains about five yards on the run. That brings up second and five. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. They'll bring him down right around the 38-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Ready! Green 90! Green 90! And he hauls that one in. And he's leveled at the 49-yard line. A pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's under throw. It's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receiver. Makes it out to about the 43. A gain of eight on the carry. That makes it second and two. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. He fires left side. And he's tackled around the six-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. They're in the red zone, but that doesn't necessarily mean points. Last time, they got intercepted. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and they hit him in the backfield. Ross on the tackle at the six-yard line. That brings up second and goal.
We're at play number nine of this current drive. He's scrambling. So the quarterback scrambles for about two yards on the play. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three-yard line. They're packed in tight on the line. And he hits him hard at the three. And he gets a yard on the run. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up fourth and goal. He gets it up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Hunt has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Jackson fields it at the one. Tackles at the 27-yard line. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Here we go. That makes it second and two. Michigan holds an eight-point advantage. Ready, check, check. 699, Fires out to his wideout, and he's taken down right around the 48-yard line. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Hey, check by 45. Check by 45. Check 26. Check 26. He rifles it to the left. Nice catch. First down, and he's knocked out. Gain of 10 yards. First down. Roger, Roger. 45 is the mic. You can't block me. You can't block me. You can't block me. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Makes it to the 24. That's good for a gain of eight yards. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. Hits right. They'll knock him down for a loss. Tackle at the 25-yard line. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. 28-20, Michigan. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Michigan up by eight. He unloads it. Intercepted. What is he thinking? The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is wide open, he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. They line up at the five. First down. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss of two on the play. You don't want that. That'll bring up second and twelve. Hey. 
Ready. Brought down at the four-yard line. Gain of one yard. That brings up third and 12. Pretty obvious passing down here as they're faced with third and long. With the pass, incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Bell is back deep to return the punt. Bell fields at the 44. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? Giving the ball away can rattle your confidence, but he just needs to relax and not try to force it. He's starting off in great field position now. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Michigan is up by eight. And down he goes at the 15-yard line. Number 33 brings him down at the 15-yard line. That brings up second and one. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. It's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Falling back, complete. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. That'll push him over the 100-yard mark in receiving. He poses a lot of problems for defenses with his size and skill. And he's really come through with his receiving today. And he is drilled at the one-yard line. for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice six play, 36 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Nice run up the middle. Collins gets seven yards on the play. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. On the ground, left side. He's knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. Third down. Nice play fake. Wants to go long and does. It's picked off, and it's the sophomore. That's a great tackle at the 26. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Check four, check four. And two. Go, go, go. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. From their own 24-yard line. Third down. Going long. And it's caught. Has some daylight. 
to the 10. Touchdown, Wolverines. What more can we say about this guy? Five touchdowns on the day. He's got great blocking up front the entire game, and his receivers are making plays. So I don't just give credit to the quarterback, but this entire offense for getting things done. And he converts the extra point with a three-play, 75-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. Moody has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Catches it, and that's all. Reed picks up seven yards with that catch. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Five wide. Fires out to his receiver. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Looking for his man. Incomplete. Second down. Ten yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. And he tackles him hard. That's the 45. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Set, check, check. Stand right. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Dumps it complete over the middle. Tackle made at the 44. Taken down at about the 35. And this play is number eight on the drive. Here we go! Steps out of bounds right around the 32 yard line. From the 32 yard line, first down. He's out of bounds around the 26-yard line. A gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Larry, Larry, Larry. Hey, watch that, watch that. Check Mike 54. Mike 54. <laughs> Throws to the tailback. Incomplete. Incomplete. Collins, the intended receiver on the play. They're about four yards That's away here on four. third down. Quick strike and he drops it. We need the intended receiver on the play. Roger, Roger. That makes it fourth and four. Hey, watch that, watch that. Check Mike 54. Mike 54. Oh, you get Ready. Bring the hat. He's tackled at about the 17 yard line. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Less than three minutes in the game. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down and 12. Ball on the 19 yard line. And he's 
going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of 11 yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. This is play number 15 of a very impressive drive. He launches one for the end zone. And it's going the other way. It's the freshman corner. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. And he's tackled around the 27-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it third and three. They'll bring him down at the 38. Call the game of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. From their own 38 yard line, it's first down. Makes it out to about the 46. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want none. They don't want none of this. That brings up second and one. Two times, two times. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Michigan 42, Michigan State 20. Let's get Kirk Herbstreet's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup. And boy, was it fun to watch. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.